Be friendly when hello guys, I'm James the Christian Tate. Symptoms are not true. And by the way, Roll Tide Alabama won the national championship. Ha <laughs> ha! Symptoms are not truth. Symptoms are not truth. And this is what we're gonna talk about. And it also applies to the, the, the game because if you were watching the game, Alabama was behind, but they came back and won in overtime. So let's see, symptoms are not truth, for we walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5, 7, that is a immutable truth in the universe because the universe was created by the spiritual universe. Then you have the mental universe and the physical universe. And this, the physical one is the lowest level, but the spiritual one created all these universes. And so you have to walk by faith and not by sight because, excuse me, things inside the natural physical universe can change at a split second. And so you can't just go and do that. But also, it also means you don't want to accept stuff. Symptoms are not truth. If you accept it, you'll receive it. If you reject it, they must leave. So if you accept something, when some, when a symptom comes, you know, just like when you go to a doctor's office, the arm may hurt. But that doesn't necessarily mean that there's something physically wrong with the arm. If you include the spirit realm, if you have Satan trying to put sickness and disease on your body, he's introducing something to you and it's your decision whether you accept it. Just like if a teacher or a parent says a, a kid is stupid or something like that, if the child accepts that based off because they may have gotten a low grade in, in a class and the parent says the kid's stupid. If the child takes that symptom, says, oh, well, I got a low grade, parent says I'm stupid, they accept that, then they'll start acting stupid and their grades can keep getting lower and lower. So symptoms are not true. If you accept them, you'll receive them. If you reject them, they must leave. This is how the spiritual universe works, whether we like it or not. The Bible says, submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, he will flee free and he will flee from you this is how it works this is really how the universe works symptoms of fear is not evidence of fear for God not given us a spirit of fear but a power of love and a sound mind is what the Bible says so symptoms of fear are not evidence is not evidence that you are afraid just because you get goosebumps or whatever like that just because you jump at something doesn't mean you're afraid just because your heart starts beating quickly doesn't mean you're afraid. But if you accept that fear, it will come in and can destroy your life. So we say symptoms of fear is not evidence of fear because it's not evidence. Just because you have a symptom of it doesn't mean that it's actually there. Because the Bible says this is what the truth of the matter is. For God has not given us a spirit of fear but a power of love and of a sound mind. Symptoms of sickness is not physical evidence of sickness. When you understand there is a devil out there trying to oppress people with sickness and disease and he tries to put something on your body and he tries to put something, even a physical trying to manifest something in your body, that is not existence. It is not physical existence of sickness and disease. We're not talking about <laughs> mental junk. We're talking about, you know, mental met metaphysical you know, religion. No, no, no. Symptoms of sickness is not physical evidence of sickness and disease. Not every symptom is that. And then I'll just leave it as it says. Symptom is not evidence. Because the Bible says, the truth says, but he's wounded for our transgressions, he's bruised for our iniquities, chastised for our peace, was upon him with his stripes, we are healed. So, symptoms of sickness is not physical evidence of sickness. That's because you're coughing does not mean you're coming down with something. You might just have your body might just be clearing your throat because you got something in there. Sneezing, that's what sneezing does is clears out the air passages. Something made some pollen or something may have got inside your nose and so your body sneezes it out, but that doesn't mean you're coming down with sickness and disease. But if you accept it, your body will, this is proven fact, your body will accept it and then you'll just get sick. Symptoms of poverty is not reality of poverty. Just because someone made a mistake and the money goes down does not mean it's evidence or reality of poverty. But if you accept it, poverty will come in. The Bible says, For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. You combat those symptoms and lies of poverty and don't accept it. Because if you accept it, the Bible says the destruction of the poor is their poverty. So if you accept the poverty, you accept, oh, I messed up, oh, I guess I'm just no good at money, and you accept that, then it will manifest. Poverty will really, literally, physically show up. Symptoms of lack is not proof of lack. What we're saying is don't accept a temporary symptom or something that tries to create a symptom 
and accept it and turn it into a reality in your life. But my God shall supply your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. That's the truth of the matter. This is how you combat. I'm giving you scriptures. You combat these symptoms with the word of God, which will create the proper reality in your life. Symptoms of unforgiveness is not evidence of unforgiveness. Just because you see somebody that did you wrong and you forgave them according to the word of God, where it says, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Once you did that, it doesn't matter if you see them and your the temperature and your, but you know, you start getting a little antsy around them or you know, you start getting angry around them. That has nothing to do with whether or not you forgave them because you're going by sight if you think, oh, you know, I just don't feel comfortable around them. Well, I must not have forgiven them. That's not true. If you've forgiven them according to the word of God, it doesn't matter what you feel like when you see them. Symptoms of debt is not evidence of debt. What is debt? De debt is a real physical lifestyle where you stay in debt and you're in it for the rest of your life. But just because you charge something on a credit card and you decide you don't want to do it anymore and you had to charge it, you know, for whatever reason, that does not mean you're going to live a lifetime of debt. But if you accept that bill, you know, as debt, then debt, the reality of debt, will be on you and destroy your life. The Bible says the Lord shall open unto thee as good treasure to heaven to give the rain unto thy land in this season and to bless all the work of thine hands and thou shalt lend unto me nations and thou shalt not borrow. That is a command. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not borrow. This is how you combat symptoms of debt so debt doesn't get growing and growing and growing. Then before you know you got six houses you're in debt to the bank too. So Symptoms are not truth. They are not reality. They are not proof. They are merely portions of the curse that are trying to come into your life. Keep the door closed. And even if you let poverty or any of these things show up and build a stronghold in your life, you can not use the Word of God to chip away and get rid of that and blow it right off, right off the mountain. So keep the door closed. Keep your guard up. Use the Word of God in the name of Jesus and kick those symptoms right out. This is stuff that's trying to come into your house. Ringing your doorbell, knocking on your door, the devil sending people and stuff that's not supposed to be in your life. Parts of the curse. But also if it is there, you can get rid of it. If sickness and disease has manifested in your body or in your mind or whatever, you can get rid of it with the word of God. The same remedy to keep it out is the same remedy that will remove it. So God forbid, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mayest ju be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So let God be true and let his word change you. Symptoms are not truth. The word of God is truth and that will fix any and every single problem. So let God be true and let his word change you. I like you. I like you. I do like you. <laughs> I love you. Thank you so for joining me. Be blessed in the name of the living Lord King Jesus Christ. Live, move, be, like, comment, subscribe, and roll time! Woohoo!